Now for that historic event with the Pope, let's get right to David Muir in Rome. Good morning, David. George, good morning from just outside the Vatican here, because as you know, we witnessed something truly historic here in the last 24 hours on the eve of Pope Francis's visit to the United States. We were allowed inside the Vatican here for an hour with Pope Francis, where he greeted us as he prepares for his trip to America. He told me he's ready. He did have a couple of messages he wanted delivered to the American people before his historic visit. We quietly wait outside this door, inside the closed walls of the Vatican. We're not far from the Pope's residence, a simple building where he lives with other priests, famously choosing to forego the grand papal apartment. We're told in a moment the doors will open, the Pope will emerge. Instead, the door opens, they wave me inside. The Pope asking for a moment to meet before the cameras. Then our walk to the room where he knows we are about to connect him with hundreds of Americans across the country, a virtual papal audience, a conversation with them. We tell him there are many families, many young people in America who will follow his American trip on television. And as we head into the room, a smile, surprise at the scope of the crew. He knows our cameras are in three cities he won't be able to visit, a school in Chicago, in Los Angeles, and a church in McAllen, Texas, on the U.S.-Mexico border. Su Santidad es un gran honor estar con usted aquí en el Vaticano, y muchas gracias por su tiempo hoy. We tell him we are honored to be here, and we begin. And we are curious if you have a message before your visit to the United States. He tells us a big greeting to the Catholic community of the United States and to everyone, all of the citizens of the U.S. And when 19-year-old Marcus in Los Angeles asks the Pope why his trip to the U.S. is so important, it's a great honor to meet you. He says, for me, it is very important to meet with you all, the citizens of the U.S., who have your history, your culture, your virtues, your joys, your sadness, your problems like everyone else. Just there were many questions and stories of adversity and survival. Valerie, 17 from Chicago, who has struggled with a rare skin disorder her whole life. She sought music to survive the bullying. And after the tears in front of the Pope, an unexpected request from Pope Francis, and that request in English. Valerie, I would like to hear you singing. <laughs> May I ask of you to sing a song for me? We were all unsure if she would sing. Be courageous. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Una canción para el Papa es difícil. <laughs> the Pope talking to single mothers, to students, even surprising an American nun, tackling issues, immigration, abortion, education. And we, we have never seen anything quite like it from a Pope, but this Pope, after all, is already breaking the mold. And Georgia truly was an extraordinary moment with Valerie and so many of the other Americans who gathered for the Pope. But in that moment alone, it was surprising for two reasons. First, he spoke English to her when he asked her to sing a song for me and to see the smile on his face and to hear him speak English. He did it a number of times. This is clearly a Pope who is preparing for his visit to America, George. A lot of Americans preparing for him as well. Remarkable stuff there. And that young woman, so courageous. Can't wait uh, to meet her in our next hour yes, as well. Yes, we will meet her coming up yeah, on and of GMA. course, You can see a lot more from Inside the Vatican tonight on World News and a special edition of 2020 this Friday at 10 Eastern.